Well, the quiet weather pattern we've had the past week and a half to two weeks comes to an end officially this upcoming weekend. As today we dealt with the sunshine and overall pretty decent conditions. Highs today were in the upper 20s and again we saw that sunshine this afternoon. We have a quiet Friday evening. So if you have plans tonight, the weather won't impact them. But if you have plans for the upcoming weekend, it might be impacted a little bit. We have a chance for some rain, some snow in, some sleet on the way on your Saturday. And then heavy rainfall Saturday evening through early Sunday morning. So we'll get into it here outside. Currently nice little sunset. Temperatures aren't losing out of live camera. We sit in the mid to lower 20s. Winds not an issue tonight either right around 5 miles per hour. We do have winter weather advisories issued for right along Interstate 35. So through Albert Lee for Freeborn County through Steele County for Owatonna and then into Goodhue County as well. So just off to the north of Olmstead County that winter weather advisory will be in place from 3 a.m. tomorrow morning until noon on Saturday. Now outside currently we have those clear skies. We'll stay quiet until about 3, 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. The system that we're tracking finally starting to push into the central Great Plains and moving through portions of Nebraska and eventually getting into the Dakotas later on tonight. But look at all of the mess that we'll be dealing with early Saturday morning and eventually as temperatures warm up, We'll switch that precipitation type from a little bit of a wintry mix, some sleet, some snow, and more over to some rainfall and potentially some heavy rain uh, during the afternoon. So storm details here, a wintry mix and then heavy rain to follow. Mainly the wintry threat will come early Saturday morning. That's uh, less, more or less a little bit of a wintry mix. Some ice in there as well and moderate impact, especially for roadways as we head northward from Rochester uh, towards the cities into early Saturday morning. So timing everything out in future cast by about six o'clock in the morning. That's when we start to see uh, the chances for at least some sleet, some snow and some freezing rain all mixed together. Now eventually we start to see that change over by about 11 to noon. That's why that winter weather advisory runs until noon because we start to get temperatures to warm up enough. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s for those highs and watch these temperatures overnight as well. Saturday night into Sunday. We don't really cool off much. We actually get warmer as we head towards early Sunday morning. So high temperatures for Sunday will be set early in the morning. That's good news. That means we stay rain at least into early Sunday morning. A little bit of dry air moves in. So I think Sunday just some drizzly conditions. Overcast skies. Futurecast has us all the way up into the upper 40s. I think we stay lower 40s. Eventually a little bit of a wraparound effect for early Monday morning. So as we time the forecast out, we're looking at that wintry mix until about 9, 10 o'clock for Rochester, Albert Lee, Austin, Red Wing, Winona, Mason City. Pretty much done with the, the wintry mix by about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. Then we just deal with rainfall throughout the afternoon. Tonight, 27 degrees for the overnight low. Those increasing clouds, a wintry mix late tonight. Tomorrow then 39 for the high. Eventually we get those temperatures into the lower 40s. We have that chance uh, for the wintry mix early in the morning and then some heavy rainfall. We could have rainfall accumulations upwards of an inch to an inch and a half in some isolated areas. So it will be a messy situation, especially farther north you go. If you get north of the cities, that's when we really start to get into some of those snow bands. So like Duluth dealing with upwards of another foot of snow potentially with this round. They've already had a pretty road. rough season. Yes, they have. So this does not help. No, not Thanks, at all. Nick. Let's take a look at what's coming.